I'm going to show you a couple of ways of uh, preparing and roasting a chicken. But first of all, I wanted to show you a tool that I have in my kitchen, which I just couldn't do without. It's a vacuum sharp. My dad bought it for me. The blue bit protects your fingers. You hold your knife on the board firmly. You take your vacuum sharp and cut four times or five times. Straight down the knife, easy peasy. Um, always wipe your knife after you sharpened it. You don't want any bits that you've ground down going into any of your food. Oh, and by the way, I never have a smelly cloth because I leave my cloths in sterilising tablets in a little pot in water and sterilising tablets by the sink. Delicious. Um, so a traditional way of cooking a chicken would be to stuff it with lemon, garlic, see how sharp my knife is? Um, and onion perhaps, and celery, and just chopping it all into the cavity so that all these juices come out and then you've got a really good base for your gravy. And very, um, in my family it's very traditional to wrap chicken wrap the chicken with bacon and roast it like that. However, over my years of, through my years of cooking, I have discovered that if you roast your chicken upside down, it's very important to take that off. If you roast it upside down, all the juices go into the breast, because I don't know if you've had a dried out breast and juicy legs, but this way you have juicy both juicy breasts and juicy legs. Put it on your baking tray and roast it upside down like that. However, I don't want to do it like that today. I'm making butt chicken. So I'm now going to remove my traditional bits and bobs and I'm going to salt and pepper the cavity. And earlier I made a little Cajun spice up, which has paprika, cayenne, garlic salt, and some thyme. Now in the recipe it said oregano, but actually I think recipes are guideline, and I don't think you necessarily need to stick to a recipe. If you prefer thyme, put thyme in. And give it a little stir. Get some olive oil. I'm actually going to remove the bacon because I don't want to waste it. And I'm going to use it later. A little bit of olive oil on your skin. Give it a good rub in. Get some of your Cajun spices. Pour that on top. Really rub it in. And it's a bit of a joke, it's a Leon recipe. It's called butt chicken. And I think it's called butt chicken because you stick a can of beer into it. But very important to take a little bit out. So you've got room to put in onion into the can. And these are my little fellows which I grew myself. These are called demon chilies. They are absolutely minute. The smaller, the stronger. I just think about two in there will do. No more than that. I made 16 litres of soup the other day. I put four of those in and it was just a really, really nice warming, warming temperature. Four little babies, 16 litres of soup. Anyway, that's our butter chicken. The nature of the can being inside the cavity is that the metal will heat the inside of the chicken as well as the oven heating the outside. So I would say a little chicken like that would probably roast with the can in, in about 50 minutes. If it didn't have the can, I'd probably give it an hour, hour and 10. So my little baby's ready for the oven. It took 50 minutes. It's great. It's 
looking absolutely perfect. What I didn't mention was when you go to put it in the oven, make sure that your shelf is at the lowest. You might have to take out a shelf or two. And also the other thing is to be extremely careful, like I've just been, when you take that off the beer can, because that beer is very, very hot. The sauce that we're going to make is basically the beer, which had, if you remember, the onions going in, a little fiery cheese. And also you might have noticed that whilst the chicken was roasting, I snuck in a couple of lemon halves and a bit of onion. And all you do with that sauce is you put it onto your hob on a very high heat and reduce that down to a third of what it is now, literally. If you don't like doing it on a baking tray, put, put it in a saucepan, but you literally boil that right down, reduce that to a third of what it is at the moment. That was quite hard. Um, and I'm going to basically serve everyone a hopefully bit of dark meat. So somebody will have that. And somebody will have that. And then also a slice of breast. But look how juicy that is. Can you see how juicy that is? Um, I was so surprised. I'm probably just sew my toe back on first.